together for a keeper. Yeah, my memory's not good. I don't know which one. Yeah, I they, 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 they've yeah. got the original here, and then they've got the cross hatches of how they made the changes. So yeah. uh, it's something so I guess our there. attorney can take a look at. But yeah, I, 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 I'm I just sure that it's, it does say two municipalities and an interlocal agreement with another uh, county. So I don't think it could be Gilbert County and two municipalities. I think it has to be, and, it was, and I think it was really designed for Rockingham County, you know, because the bill favored Rockingham County a lot more than it did us. They got the, the great majority of the money. That's his home district. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> well, I'll sort of throw that out there in case you get Okay. Out. I still, it would be interesting to know who's able, I guess the county of Gilbert, the manager's office, is signing and writing the checks on this. Was, right. the, the conduit for the money that are holding the two strings to, to folks, but I don't, don't hold me to that. And, but you all, since that big meeting we had down there at Oak Ridge where everybody came in, you've heard no other expenditures, and I guess we need to check for ourselves and see what the balance sheet shows. That so that would be a wise move to check in with the county and just see where they are with it. Well, I, I heard the art Jay say the other day to one of our young associates that you don't ever uh, say more than you're asked, but I, I'm going to contradict him at this point and make a suggestion, uh, this unsolicited. Uh, would it be safe to assume that while you, know, you folks may choose not to be part of an authority, you do have an interest in partnering with other folks to provide water in Northwest Guilford? We've made, that offer, yourself no, part of we've made that offer no Ridge. Hey, why don't you just uh, run water from Forsyth County uh, to Oak Ridge? Because our service areas are very close. So, so the town has an interest in helping provide water to the community. You know, whether that's uh, through connection to another system, whether that's through a phase two in, in Stokesdale, uh, and, and the full utilization of developed monies. I mean, that's, that's where you are. <coughs> so we probably need to sit down with, with legal and consultants and decide if we can rearrange some of that money back over here for the, to, to shift back up into the northwest corner from down on Market Street over the first street. We can't make that decision unilaterally. It's got to be Phil Burke or somebody else. Well, that's, no, that's what I'm saying. Though. That's what we may end up having to do yeah. is to switch it up to the operational, the ones that are up here now. But let, let, let me just take my position now. I'd be glad to do that. I personally would like to see us uh, vote to uh, get out of the water authority and to try to uh, redirect that money back to the town of Stokes Hill and Hopkins County. But it's a will of it. Well, the you question is see how, if we can read them. <coughs> My thought on that, and everybody sitting up here has some possibly like or different slants to it. Do we need to see if we can definitively rearrange that money before we take that vote? Because if we take that vote, that may have rearranged it for us on a for everybody else. <coughs> That, that's so, what I'm saying. And, and I think that would be, that's going to take some work on our part as a town, um, talking with the other, our part, counterparts, county as well, you know, the other counties as well as around here, and finding out where we can go and where we can go. Getting in touch with Bill Berger one-on-one -on -one phone conversation and say, <coughs> are we even close to it? And, you know, how many candy bars can we see? I, well, I made a call to him a couple of weeks ago, and of course they're working on the budget there, right. and they're passing right. that, so right. I haven't understand. gotten to call that. But. Um, Mr. Mayor, if I might add some helpful information to that. Um, Hazen has done studies independently for Greensboro and Winston about supplying water to Northwest Silver County, and we have suggested to them, um, you know, have meetings with, with the partners, um, because I know part of Winston's uh, scenario would be connections at Oak Ridge as well. So there is already some work that's been done on that. If you want to take that into consideration, it might be helpful. Can you furnish those for us? I cannot provide you the details. Um, <coughs> if Winston says it's okay, then I can give you that. Would you find that for us? I can ask Bill for her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. We'll just leave it there. Well, I don't want to step out and end up and find open the door and find out if they move the bill. Does it have to build?
I'm confident the board will be doing the right thing for the town. I kind of agree with what the mayor says. I think that my personal opinion would be to see if we can get those funds, which would address some of the issues that Councilman Jones was talking about. If we can get $4 million or three or a chunk of that money, maybe we can extend the water system into those areas that need, that have some contamination issues. Down into the Main Street area where maybe we can bring some businesses in. Um, my gut feeling with projects that I've seen in the past is that $50 million, I'd probably be willing to make a bet that the job's not going to cost $50 million. There's always cost overruns. There's always everything else. And I'm just not a fan of putting my destiny or the town's destiny in the hands of a group of people where we're going to be one, one vote on the board. Possibly, if we do want to partnership up, we're holding, a, you know, we're holding the cards here. Maybe we need to say, OK, we'll do a deal. But we want three members of that board. If there's five members, we want a majority on that board because we're bringing in expertise, hardware, a system, infrastructure, and money. So you know what? We need to be the controlling players, not four other appointed people who are going to determine our destiny. So I think that your point of looking at the money and going in that direction, I think really, we're really in the driver's seat. Uh, I don't see a lot of benefit to the town at this moment just turning everything over and doing it. My personal opinion. We have a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Any discussion? Thanks everybody for coming. Let's vote. Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Thanks for coming.